look, Zach. It's been a long day. So, what you're going to do is you're going to record a Europe haul video of all the stuff you got from Europe. All right. Well, you heard it from uh, past me. Uh, today's video is going to be a Europe haul. But before we get to that, um, as you can see, I've been messing with the screen screen stuff. Um, uh, I am going to put something else up there because it wasn't really working really well. Um, I'm going to try a different green screen, but for now, might as well have something cool in the background of the video. I found a string on a card, and uh, I'm going to use it to uh, secure my new setup. I don't think I've... I found this knife when I got home, and I don't think I've used it um, for actually knife purposes. Let's uh, not hurt myself. Oh, look. Ah, first try -y. Oh, is it only on that side? Oh, man. Okay. Cut. All right. That, like, didn't help any. I've got all that finished, and honestly, this is probably the closest thing I've ever had to, like, a YouTube setup. But anyway, uh, as you know, I was in Europe for the semester. If you haven't seen that playlist, you should go check it out. Um, it was a lot of fun. Obviously, it was cut short because of, you know, uh, but I wanted to show you because one of the things I didn't really do while I was in Europe is really vlog while I was in shops because uh, it was kind of close quarters and I was just trying to get stuff. Um, and so I wanted to show you all the things that I picked up while in Europe. First thing, uh, we got Eurorail passes, which if you're going to Europe and you're going to be there for a while, you might look into these. They're really nice, um, except for high speed trains. Um, it covers all of your rail travel, which is pretty nice. So pretty handy dandy map, you can see all of Europe, really nice. As far as things that I collected from Europe, um, people usually choose different things that they wanna take and get. Um, and mine was by far uh, pins. I wanted pins from everywhere. And I was really sad, didn't have enough time to get one from Pompeii and didn't find one in Napoli because we weren't there long enough. Um, so those are my only two regrets. But I was the only one to get a pin from somewhere else. So I don't know. One, two in my books. But if you saw, I had a three-part vlog that was uploaded about going to Cologne, Germany. One of the places we went there was the Chocolate Museum, uh, which was really cool, wonderful. You should go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, but they had this cool little thing that they called a sweet case. And I was like, ah, oh, this is a tin. You know, that's cool. I like the tin in of itself. It has a bunch of different places on it most of which I didn't get to go. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I think it's uh, an interesting little way to remember it. It also came with 30 pieces of chocolate in it, which uh, I did the math and uh, it was a good deal for the chocolate. But this is what, as you can hear, what I've been keeping most of my uh, tins in because um, it's a cool little tin that I can remember it by. So, souvenir number one. Now, inside this, we have, oh, it doesn't open that way. This way, as you can see, it even has a little handle. All of my pins, oh, sorry, it opened on the other side. <laughs> Psych. We have all of my pins that I picked up, and I kept this little thing in here for line and insulation so it wouldn't just be bumping up against everything. So, let's go through these bad boys in chronological order of me getting them. So, as you know, one of the first trips we went on was to Aachen, Germany. Picked up a pin there, really cool. Um, it goes this way. Um, there, Aachen is a little city close to Verviers where we were staying. It was only a 30 minute train ride. Pretty cool. And the next trip we went on was, where is it? Uh, it's in a tiny, oh, it's this. No, 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 not that one. Oh, did I not get a pin from Maastricht? I don't think I did. No, yeah, I didn't get a pin from Maastricht. Darn, okay. Well, after Maastricht came the three part vlog of Cologne. Um, so I also got this tiny little pin here, and as you can see, this is the big cathedral or the dom there, um, that we didn't get to climb up because it was too late, sadness. Uh, but it was really iconic, really big, and this is a tiny cute little pin, you know, it doesn't take up much space, and the pins aren't that expensive considering all the other souvenirs you could possibly get. Um, but yeah, after Cologne, as you know, we flew to Italy, and the first place we went, besides stopping into Rome, was 
Florence, Italy, which in Italian is Firenze. And I got this, actually got this pin at the Uffizi Museum, which was really cool. So we went to two of them, the Academia, which is where David is, and the Uffizi, which is where I got this one is. Got this one, whatever that means. Following that, we went to, from Florence, we went to Pisa and um, Luca while we were there and to Cinque Terre which those locks were fantastic. So we had our trip to Pisa, obviously, Leaning Tower, iconic, Italian flag, beautiful, really like this pin. Um, and then we went to where my family is from, which is Luca, which, yes, is this pin, which is beautiful. This is the uh, little square there uh, that's very iconic of Luca. It's a beautiful green pin. There was only one of them. I kind of felt a little bad about taking it from the other people in our group. But then again, this is where my family is from. <laughs> so I didn't feel that bad about it. So yeah, the back on this one might be a little messed up. So I might have to do something with it. But overall, one of my favorite pins, this deep green color is beautiful. So going from there, as I said, we went to Cinque Terre. They had a bunch of cheesy looking ones with the, the, all of the tears or the towns on them. Um, but this one, I think, just summed it up pretty well. We only went to three out of the five, and it was an epic day, though. You should totally go watch that vlog. It is beautiful. Cinque Terre is by far one of the most picturesque places we visited. Um, yeah, after that, we went to Rome, and I got, like, a ton of Rome pins. Let's see. Um, where are all of the Rome pins? Here's the first one I got, just a Roma pin, which is obviously Italian for Rome, and it has the latin characters for their saying on there which i do not know um yeah i thought it was good colors different from all the other ones uh but then we went to a couple shops and uh we went to the vatican um and that was a little bit of a mess because there were no pins there so i had to go pick up vatican pins elsewhere so i have like a we went to one shop and they were like three for the same price as one pin elsewhere. So I got like a Vatican flag. I got a Vatican this, which as you can see, isn't the best quality. And I also got another Vatican one, which was better quality, which is this one. So pretty nice, huh? It's my only full red pin, so I was fine with that. But you know, went there, came back, and uh, we did a trip to Brussels. This one was hard to find. It really was. There weren't a ton of places open, and I was surprised that once things started closing that I was still able to get this one. It was cool. It's, you know, this is the seat of the UN, if you don't know that. And uh, it's quite a fun place. I didn't spend too much time there. I didn't get to go to uh, Dinant, which is where I really wanted to go, the birthplace of the saxophone. But uh, our final trip we watched was to Ostend and uh, Bruges. So, got one from there one from Bruges. This is the Bruges flag. I really think it's cool. It's red, white, and blue. Not American, but still looking awesome. Um, it was pretty sweet. And probably the most fun part was while I was in, um, in Bruges, I was at this shop and this guy had a bunch of pins. He had them like five for, um, $10, which is pretty good, but they were like random pins. So like Doughy Egbert's is a coffee chain there and they're pretty cool um i didn't go there but i th saw this pin and i know it's iconic in europe so i got it i didn't get to go to france but there's like a german this is german this is not french um or it might be dutch i don't know or i guess flemish but it says welcome there and it has france a little dude i thought he was adorable so i picked him up um and then i found two there's actually a second one there but i didn't justify getting it uh an albertaville olympic pin so that's pretty sweet uh, and then the other two were just really interesting. I found this one as Punch Jr. I'm not even sure what this is. I tried looking it up, but it's got a giraffe on it and it looks retro. So it was cool. And then they had like a movie pin, which is really nice. Yeah. Cool stuff to pick up. So that'd be all me pins. Oh wait, no, it's not all me pins. Um, I, we picked up this one from Volt Germany on our last Saturday. It was by far the most expensive pin. And the rest of them looked real cringy at the shop. So it's the ball flag and the ball was the first place of Beethoven. As far as souvenirs go, I picked up, what's in here? I picked this up from Luca, which is where my family is from again. Um, so it is a really cool watercolor painting of that. And um, I had another book. 
and it's right here on my desk, which is good because I can't use that. I still need it. I got these from Cinque Terre, additionally. Watercolors, one of Monarola. As you can see, this is where we saw the sunset. Um, and then one of Monterosa, yeah, Monterosa Al Mar. And Lexi got the only one they had of Vernazza. So, it's cool. It's pretty much the end of like the souvenirs that I got. Um, other things that I did pick up along the way in Little Germany. Picked up some beautiful unicorn hand sanitizers, priceless at a time like this, and from Germany nonetheless. So, yeah, uh, I got a um, Kinder egg while I was over there, so we have a little Kinder toy in here because um, those are technically illegal in the United States. The Kinder eggs, not the not the toys themselves. This isn't really a souvenir. I took it from uh, Monterosa Al Mar. It's a rock from the beach. If that was <laughs> Additionally, also uh, the Happy Meals were doing a Pokemon theme thing, and. Uh, I may have gotten these. I didn't buy all these. I bought like three of them. And then three of them I didn't. They're little Pokemon markers. Pew! Some of them didn't come in English. So like at the McDonald's, it was really cool. Um, in Verbier, you either got them in English, you got them in French, or you got them in German. So they don't print Pokemon cards in French. Oh uh, yeah. Gotta catch them. Oh. This isn't really a souvenir, but I bought this before going abroad. It's a sketchbook, as you can tell, because the label's still on it. But, uh, this is supposed to be what I sketched in the entire semester. And, uh, as you can see, this is in French, uh, my book of art. And that's my French name, Xavier. Xavier. And, uh, yeah. I did some, like, impressionistic sketches. This is the first morning on, uh, February 18th, flying over the skies. This is our first train ride with John and the train there. Lexi looking out the window. I really can't draw girls. Um, then we have the Coliseum, which we were there on the 5th of March. And I sketched that up. I think that was my last sketch for there. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably go back and do more sketching of the pictures I took there. This is what I was doing. I was taking pictures and then going back and sketching them. Except for this one. I think I sketched this one live while I was staring at the Coliseum. Because uh, obviously this wasn't there a lot. Um, but yeah, that was uh, everything that I picked up from Europe, minus the things that I bought. Oh, wait, no, there's still one thing. I got this in Bruges as well. I got Ben a, uh, an Italia jersey from Bruges, um, but I picked up this uh, Bruges soccer shirt, which is honestly a little bit tight. Um, I'm made for skinny people, which gives me some gold clothing. It's always good to have gold clothing. But anyway. Uh, it's my trip to Europe. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. Love to talk about it. But thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for sticking around. Hope you stay good.